What's up, nerd and nerdettes? It's time for a superpower shorty. This superpower is a splinter off the branch of body manipulation. So sit down and get set for nail manipulation. With the ability to emerge from animal paws, which then form into razor sharp claws, which you can then turn around and use to rip, tear, and maul. I made that work, right? Right? Users of Onichill Kinesis have complete control over nails. A flattish claw-like plate at the tip of fingers and toes made of a tough protective protein called keratin. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. Obviously, this includes various claws and hooves of oneself's and others, which allows them to freely manipulate and alter them. They can manipulate the shape, growth, coloration, density, you know, to make them more durable or easier to break, sharpness, extend them over fingers for protection, or project nails as some sort of projectile. But it doesn't stop there because they can also remove or enhance nail cuticles, which would then allow the user to control how strong the nail is before it even emerges. Or they can induce or remove nail infections, ailments, etc. Anything that involves nails, they can pretty much do to you. As a body part and a concept that most if not all people are familiar with, I'll try to stick to the uh, the interesting parts, I guess. But before we get ahead of ourselves, it's important to list that in terms of physiology, the nail consists of the nail plate, the nail matrix, the nail bed below that, and then the groove surrounding it. And on average, a human nail grows about one tenth of an inch, which is about 2.5 millimeters each month. So for those that are curious, if you're involved in an accident where you lose a nail, it can take about three to six months to completely replace that nail. But uh, here's a fun fact for you guys. The nail is often considered an impermeable barrier or something that can be used as a guard because of how hard it normally is. But in actuality, this isn't really true because <laughs> ironically enough, it's much more permeable than the skin. So as a result, it can soak up substances such as nail polish or water a lot better than skin can, which is pretty scary if you think about it. Speaking historically though, the nails of primates and the hooves of running animals evolved from the claws of earlier animals and performed a variety of purposes, some of them still being relevant today. As during the before four times, you know, before humans learned to craft simple weaponry such as spears, swords, knives, maybe even a shovel or some kind of trough or something like that, all we had to rely on was what nature originally gave us our nails and or claws. They were used for locomotion, you know, climbing, and increased traction when running and or crawling. They were also used for defense by sharpening them and then using them as a form of natural weaponry, which they are. And much, much later, but still before our current time, they were used as a form of status symbol. I mean, it's pretty well known that nails at a certain time in history and even till today were and still are a representation of health. So those with cracked, chipped, darkened, or damaged nails were associated with menial tasks in society, such as manual labor, or they could have been associated with poor mental health as well, as biting nails is a common stress-relieving impulse. So people who are normally stressed tend to be less healthy. And these stereotypes were normally occupied by the lower caste of society in a certain point in time, which usually means the opposite was found in higher class societies. But this symbolic element of nails is still found within our modern society as they more or less become a symbol of fashion instead of a telltale sign of nutrition and health. So just a little FYI, if you want to see how healthy someone is, check their nails. But getting back into this concept as a superpower, in many fictional cases, nails are referred to as claws, hinting that they're one and the same. <laughs> and to be honest with you, there is no real difference, but if I had to draw a line in the sand somewhere, I could say, or you could say, a nail is synonymous to a claw, but it's flatter and has a curved edge instead of the pointed edge of your stereotypical claw. Just look at your dog's hands and then go back and look at yours. But when referring to these two in terms of a story's medium, they will normally be portrayed containing insanely sharp properties, even after consistent or constant use. <laughs> Moreover, a user of this power will possess claws so sharp that they're effectively natural swords, being able to slice through things that few of any real life animals could even scratch in our real world. So with that being said, you're likely to see werewolves, dragons, monsters, or other super powered animal themed characters using this power. And when it is used, it's pretty straightforward. 
As such, this ability is commonly paired with the regenerative healing factor so you can increase the repair speed of the nails as well as enhance strength and durability so they can perform their unrealistic slicing capabilities. And if you really want to stretch it, then you can give a character of this power Wolverine type claws, which are claws that don't emerge from the user's fingers. But as long as they're used as a hint to show that the character with this power is dangerous or villainous or sort of feral, you really can't go wrong when portraying this power. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Another trope that creators love to include with this power, for lack of a better term, is the poisoned fingernail, which can either be an organic fingernail or claw coated in some kind of toxin or poison. This in reality wouldn't work. As stated earlier, the poison would just seep in through the nail way faster than it did through the skin. So a user of this ability would have to have some kind of immunity to whatever poison they're using. But that can usually be remedied by using a claw-like weapon and just coat that weapon in poison, so you're not affected by it at all. But you probably still need to carry around the antidote. <laughs> That's the funny thing about humans. Even something as old and seemingly overlooked as a nail has an exploitable history that you know we're pretty much going to make use of. And while they do say there's nothing new under the sun, there's always something new to discover with this ability and powers relating to it. So if you want to keep the videos coming, then show your support by hitting that like and subscribe button. And heck, while you're at it, hit that share button so others can know how awesome this power really is, just in case they want to choose it for themselves. Now with the power to manipulate nails comes the natural ability to attack with, defend with, and control your own or other carotene based weaponry with nail attacks. From there, the next best thing I can think of is being able to turn your nails into actual claws, which will then increase their length and range with claw extension. <laughs> or the inverse, if you want to turn your claws back into nails, then you can do so with claw retraction. So let's just say that a user is able to wield nails or claws with great proficiency and pretty decent power, no matter if it's long distance or close quarter combat. And in fact, they can do this at a greater proficiency than a normal member of their species. Well then, it sounds like you have a user of enhanced clawmanship. The user can then create their own source of nails or claws, creating the keratin based substance completely separate from outside sources with nail generation. If the user's generating their own source of nails, then they should be able to shoot them off as projectiles and then grow them back with nail bullet projection. Or you could use all the previously mentioned and combine them into a fighting style that would surprise most who come up against it with cleokinetic combat. And before we forget, since slicing can be considered a combative action, let's add the ability to cut through objects using your nails via nail cutting. If they want to give their nails or claws special attributes such as poisoning or temperature generation or manipulation, then they can do so through magical application or genetic alteration via nail property manipulation. This will allow you to change the shade and tint of your nails as new colors can often signify a new power or condition on top of a power that already exists. So we can add nail color manipulation to that as well. And since you're manipulating the properties of nails, the user can utilize their uh, spurs or claws as extra mandibles, which can stretch, extend, and still be manipulated into controlling outside objects from a distance with prehensile nails. But if you want to crack this ability up to 11 and terrify anyone that you come across or happen to come up against, then have the user generate and possess unusually indestructive nails or claws that are impervious to any kind of harm or damage by possessing unbreakable nails. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, if the user wants to increase their locomotive capabilities beyond what they were capable of before, they can use their enhanced clawmanship, remember what I said earlier, to provide extra traction by digging one's claws into the surface of, well, anything via climbing or wall crawling. And there you have it, nail manipulation in a nutshell. And while this ability is still fairly simple in how it can be used, 
most of the applications are fairly one note and under the right circumstances can be overpowered. But like I said before, if it sounds like I left some things out, that's because most of these uses can lead to its parent superpower, body manipulation. In fact, this power is like a tab in the big folder that is body manipulation. So if you want anything else that you can link this power back to for more, I don't know, inspiration, check that video out. All you gotta do is replace the word body with nail in certain instances for what you're trying to accomplish and you can get away with it. But if you want to or can get more creative and use this ability for more than just looking pretty and scratching others, then under the right light, you would still be a force to be reckoned with. So have fun and buy some nail files. You'll need them. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.